Hi Aries, this is going to be your weekly reading from the 13th until the 20th of June. You've got the Indecision card. So far, let's quickly see what else does Aries need to know. You've got a leg up. So there's some supporting people around you that are able to assist you in this this indecision that you might have in your life what else does aries need to know most important messages for aries from the 13th until the 20th okay i'm just going to shuffle the deck a bit don't forget to check in i'm going to be live tonight at GMT2 um, where we will have discussions and we will have some coffee you've got three cards Lemuria creating heaven on earth is happening the age of light you've been training for this for a lifetime priestess how are you being called to step up and lead I'm just going to put that over there. Hope it keeps. So. Okay, so let's quickly see what does the tarot have for Aries from the 13th until the 20th. Most important messages for Aries. Four cards for Aries. Okay, this is too many. I'm not going to take all of them. Four cards for Aries from the 13th until the 20th. Okay, you've got the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. It might be an Earth sign that plays a huge resemblance in your life or with earth in their chart okay so aries you are possibly having this week indecision about someone or something <coughs> it can be work it can be family it can be your current love connection um, but it's telling me with this indecision that you might have, that you will have a leg up, supporting factors, supporting people around you. You are possibly creating for yourself within your work situation, a heaven on earth situation for yourself. And you have been training for this for a lifetime. And this can be work and in love as well. But it's also asking you that you, where do you possibly need to step up and take the lead? You've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the King of Swords and Judgment. Now I feel regarding the Judgment card Aries, this might be a resemblance in your recent past, current or future. Um, and I do believe with the current Mercury retrograde and the solar eclipse in Gemini that we had last week, um, it might have brought a people situations possibly back from the past. And... I do believe, Aries, that within this week, with your current indecision regarding a matter or a person or even a job situation, you will receive clarity. With um, the King of Swords, you are going to be presented with an opportunity, emotional love opportunity. It can be money as well. Um, and I do believe, Aries, that either this is a person that is playing a big part in your life with the Queen of Pentacles, an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo person, or this might be you working towards something better. And that's why you've been asked to step up and take the lead in some area in your life. And I do feel it might be due to the fact of this indecision that you currently experiencing let's really see what is your personal love interest person wants to tell you this rejection is a divine protection 
if you are possibly having an indecision about um, a love connection um, it's basically telling you that this rejection is a divine protection for you and then let's really see what is the angel answers oracle have for you you have got aries trust and believe the situation the process so yeah i hope it could help look after yourself keep well bye hi taurus i trust you are well and that you will have an amazing week ahead this is going to be your most important messages you've also got indecision as with aries um this is going to be your most important messages from the 13th until the um, 20th of june um, please like and subscribe to my channel tarot dreams 88 you've got the mirror card who or what is triggering you and that is your own decision you need to possibly choose um, who is a person a situation that is possibly triggering you in some sort you've got Taurus the observer and you've got come to the edge it's basically asking you to take a leap of faith um, towards someone or something um, but you are possibly having some sort of indecision regarding someone or something you've got the five of pentacles you've got the knight of wands you've got the high priestess and you've got the six of wands and then your last card is the four of swords um i'm just going to quickly check so taurus you've also got the indecision i use my intuition in all aspects of my life the mirror is asking you who is a person currently in your life mirroring you who is triggering you it is asking you to possibly observe the situation first before you make a decision and also it's asking you possibly to take a leap of faith you currently might feel um, Taurus in the five of Pentacles and this is feeling abandoned sad um, unhappy um, possibly you might have experienced recent past conflict with someone or some sort of situation but there is definitely messages or possibly a fire sign person coming in for you this can be desire this can be a passionate person it can be also a new job or financial opportunity coming your way and it's going to ask you to possibly take action with your indecision and make a choice um taurus i do feel within this week with the 13th until the 20th you've got the high priestess um possible talents that you can basically tap in and use um, make use of um, and also you've got the victory card and i do believe that if you get to that indecision and you are able to make the correct decision towards your current situation that you've possibly observed you will have victory but it's also asking you possibly to step a bit out of the situation and that's why you've got the observer card step out of the situation think things through before possibly making an impulsive decision but it's also asking you regarding this possible indecision to um, take a leap of faith um, and basically come to the edge regarding something so i do believe for some taurian people out there you possibly will um, come to the edge take a leap of faith if you felt if you feel like that you've always been on my mind this is your current love connection person that they want to inform you that you've always been on their mind and then also with the angel answers oracle okay so basically you've got three cards taurus you've got trust if you believe and wait so regarding this it's basically telling you while you're currently having this indecision or someone or some situation is triggering triggering you observe the situation um 
because I do feel it might have been either a fire sign or earth sign person that has caused you into this indecision. But you do have the talents, the mentality to tap into your um, spirituality, gut feeling or intuition to be able to have this victory at the end of the week. Um, so yeah, Taurus, I hope it could help. Look after yourself, keep well and bye. Hi Gemini, I trust you are well. This is going to be your weekly reading. That's too many cards. From um, the 13th until the 20th. You've got two cards. Chop wood. And you've got time to go. Now this is regarding possibly a person, a decision, a situation. Just hold on one second. Let me just quickly pick up these cards. Because a lot of cards came out at once. We're going to shuffle again for you, Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Okay, you've got the fear card. I realize that I'm testing my, testing my resol resolve to live in the energy of love. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay, um, let's quickly see what else do we have for Gemini. What else does Gemini need to know from the 13th until the 20th? Spirit guidance and messages for Gemini. Yo, um, basically we recently had a, so a full solar eclipse new moon in your sign. We're currently in Mercury retrograde and um, it might, the communication might be a problem. Mintaken, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Mintaken. There's something possibly, Gemini, that you are longing for, longing for someone longing a situation um a person you've got the hermit what else does gemini need to know from the 13th until the 20th most important messages and assistance and guidance you've got the seven of swords gemini so there's definitely a situation in your life that's possibly coming to an end. Um, ending of old cycles, starting something new. You've got the Ace of Cups. And then you've got the Ten of Cups. So Gemini, um, let me just quickly pull you the Angel Answers Oracle. Most important messages for Gemini. You possibly need to, and again, it is coming through that you need to let go of something or release of something to be able to have this success in your life. I'm just going to put that over there and see if it works. I doubt it. Let's quickly see. I'll put this over there. Yes, let's do it like this. Okay, so Gemini, you possibly, with the chop wood card, it's telling you, to put in your energy and effort into someone or something with the chopped wood. But there's also a current situation in your life that Gemini that you need to let go of. Let go of this person, let go of the situation, let go of this job. Um, a toxic situation possibly. And you are possibly fearful regarding this situation. And you've got this feeling of longing for home or belonging somewhere in your life. It, you might feel currently in the hermit mode, um, Gemini, due to the fact of indecision. I'm not able to make a choice directly. Possibly you are observing the situation, but this, you've got the seven of swords. And I do feel, Gemini, that this is not possibly a person. This might be your own self-sabotage um, with the seven of swords. Basically, not speaking up. Um not feeling that you need to speak up now but the thing is with self-sabotage you possibly need to look into it because again 
you've got the letting go card i'm just going to do it like this you've got the success and you've got the letting go card so something gemini needs to be released and let go to be able to receive this ten of cups and this ace of cups and this is emotional financial stability happy home happy family happy life um balance and this can also be a new person coming in for you, Gemini. But the thing is, firstly, you possibly need to let go and release of something um, in your life to be able to have this success coming your way. And I mean, it is confirming it with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So yeah, don't be fearful. Um, and yeah, let me know how it goes this week from the 13th until the 20th. Keep well, look after yourself. Hi Cancer, I trust you are well. The first card that came out for you is the Death card. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Um, I really hope you will have an amazing week from the 13th until the 20th. I do believe, Cancer, that a lot of you guys are currently going through a death and rebirth situation. Ending off an old, starting something new, and again, it is confirming that it's time to go um, it can be regarding a job situation it can be regarding a love connection it can be regarding a friendship situation or a work situation that you are possibly experiencing in your life the current death and rebirth ending of this old cycle starting something new boundaries where do you need to establish better boundaries? And you will be able to answer that for yourself to the best of your ability. Um, let's quickly see what does the angel answers oracle have for cancer. You've got a lot of cards and I do feel that I need to take this for you, cancer. So you've got to know there's something, a situation in your life that you possibly need to say no to get more information regarding the situation this person this job this um friendship situation there is helpful people around you that will be able to assist you reconsider a situation possibly in your life it can be work family love and take action regarding i do feel regarding your higher self possibly all your decisions Let's quickly shuffle the cards and see what comes out for Cancer. Most important messages for Cancer. Okay. Okay, so you've got three cards so far. You've got the Lovers, the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Now we'll see what this is about. I'm going to ask another card and I'll, I'll make, make use of clarifiers if i need to you've got the seven of pentacles okay so regarding the lovers why is the lovers here for cancer okay victory awesome okay so cancer okay my last card that i want to pull you then we're quickly going to discuss this reading what is your love connection your love person wants to tell you cancer Okay, so Cancer, your love connection wants to tell you we belong together. You are my, you are my being, part of my soul. Thank you for the spiritual lesson. No gray area, no gray or, no gray or right or wrong. No gray or right or wrong. No gray. I am replaying events over and over. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Okay, so Cancer, you're currently going through this situation. Um, you've got the no, and I mean, you'll know best the way you need to possibly tell a person or situation no. It's, you've also got the reconsider. I mean, and that is you'll know best regarding your own life path where you possibly need to reconsider something and take action towards that. You've got the death card. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings and the time to go. 
now regarding this this can be regarding a life connection a work situation a friendship situation or um a family situation that there's going to be possibly death and rebirth um and it's time to go time to move forward time to move away from a person or a situation and it's asking you as well where do you need to establish better boundaries you've got the lover's card and normally with the lover's card this is still normally the soulmate card but it's also a decision card making a choice of two two decisions two people two situations you will receive clarity with the knight of swords because cancer i do believe you've been up in your head a lot lately having sleepless nights overthinking things and possibly feeling anxiety but you are willing to move forward um, and this is telling me that you're willing to move forward to be able to have this victory with the six of wands but you possibly need to get to that decision where you need to make a decision but you are willing um, you are willing to move forward you are willing to learn something new you are um, ready i would say cancer that you are ready and your love connection would like to tell you we belong together you are my being part of my soul thank you for the spiritual lesson no gray area right or wrong no gray area right or wrong i am replaying events over and over i'm sorry please forgive me so your cancer i hope it could help um yeah for the week ahead i hope you have an amazing week look after yourself keep well hi leo i trust you are well and that you will have an amazing week ahead this is just going to be your most important messages from the 13th until the 20th I felt the need that I had to do readings for you guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Tarot Dreams 88, to stay informed. You've got round and round, Leo. This can be regarding a situation, a person, a job. Um, that's not coming into fruition or it's not coming to an end. And it's just moving in circles. And you possibly might feel that you're a bit stagnant in this current energy, Leo. You've also got the mirror. What, who or what are triggering you? <coughs> oh, my word. Sorry about that. I had to. I had to. So, okay. Most important messages for Leo. From the 13th until the 20th. Most important messages. Okay, so Leo, it's asking you to have empathy and gratitude. I am thankful for this life and its opportunities that it presents. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Now, you'll know best regarding this situation. I do feel it was possibly in the recent past that you possibly had to make a decision regarding someone or something. Um, and it's asking you regarding the situation. It can be life, it can be family, it can be work to reconsider have gratitude have empathy towards the situation or this person um, currently leo something is not in the right time um, and i do believe that that's possibly telling you um, that divine divine timing and divine orchestration is playing a role here as we can see with your love person or love connection what do they want to tell you I feel alone without you. I'm just going to put that over there. Okay, so let's quickly shuffle the deck and see most important messages for Leo from the 13th until the 20th. Leo, okay, so you've got the Two of Cups. It might be regarding a love connection. You've got the Nine of Cups. Oh, Self-indulgence also, but wish fulfillment. Um, let's what we see. What else does Leah need to know? You've got the emperor. This might be a person, um, feminine or masculine, current in your life. It might be a cold, you might feel that they are a cold-hearted person, but they are very stern and they are very upfront and they are very honest. Um, and they can be a very strong personality as well. 
you are possibly going to be moving away or walking away from something and it's got you've got the temperance card telling you you possibly need to have some balance regarding the situation so leo let's quickly get back to the reading round and round it goes it doesn't come to fruition it doesn't come to an end and it's just keeping keep on keep on um it's asking you what who or what is triggering you it's also be ask you leo to have um gratitude and empathy towards someone or some certain situation in your life your current love connection is feeling alone without you but there's something in your current life situation leo that is not the right time you do have the soulmates card here with um the two of cups but this is also a choice a choice of two people a choice of two decisions two situations you've got the nine of cups i do believe with the nine of cups it's wish fulfillment um it's possibly your wish is coming true regarding a person a situation or your work situation but also um the nine of cups can be self-indulging um so yeah just be on the lookout for that you currently possibly have the emperor in your life it can be a boss it can be your current love connection or a friend you are possibly going to walking away from something leo um it can be regarding a job a family situation or um yeah a love connection but it's asking you before you think of walking away from this situation to have gratitude and empathy and think things through with balance because this is archangel michael um and temperance is balance and it's basically telling you to you've got two twos um leo in your reading so balance something possibly is not in the right time yet and something possibly needs to be balanced so yeah, Leo, um, I hope it could help. Let me know in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Tarot Dreams 88. Keep well. Bye. Hi, Virgo. I trust you are well and that you will have an amazing week ahead. This is your um, general collective energy for Virgo from the 13th. There's too many cards. I'm not going to take all of them. From uh, the 13th until the 20th. For Virgo, most important messages for Virgo. Okay, so you've got, you've got doubt. I release the need to know all answers. And Virgo, you guys are normally very practical people, and you're also sometimes um, the best detective people. Um, if you want to get to the core of a situation, you will get that information that you need. But it's asking you to possibly take time for a nap. If possible, take time away from home. Take time away from work. Take time for yourself. And you've got unfinished symphony. So something in your life is not coming to an end. It is a spiral. It keep on, keep on. And it's like possibly giving you the sense of irritation and frustration. Okay, so as we can see, what does Leo need to know? From 13th until the 20th of June 2021. Most important messages for Virgo. Soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. I think this was a message for last week as well, Virgo. To call in your tribe, to call in your soul tribe, your family, your work colleagues. So let's quickly really see. Your love connection would like to tell you that they wish you were there by them or wish you were here by them. Um, let's quickly really see what does the angel answers oracle have for you, Leo? Oh, Virgo, sorry, why did I say Leo? Maybe someone has got someone with importance in their life, a Leo person. Um, so Virgo, it's telling you, don't stop regarding this connection, the situation. You are ready possibly to take on more responsibility in your life. You are ready for a certain situation in your life, Virgo. Okay, so most important messages for Virgo. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. You came into your own reading. 
stability, nurture, earthy, home loving person. And I've got the Knight of Cups. This is also, you know, this can be you presenting someone with your cup of love or someone presenting them, you with their cup of love. And then you've got the Three of Wands. You're possibly waiting something out, waiting on someone, waiting on a situation. You've got the Hanged Man in reverse. So something became clear to you. Some clarity came to you unexpectedly. That you were possibly not seeing in the recent past. And then you've got um, the person in reverse, but I feel that this is not supposed to be in reverse for you, Virgo. And I, I don't know why I feel like this, but I'm not going to have this card in reverse. You've possibly got a, a water sign person, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, that is playing. A big role in your current life situation it can be a boss a love connection love interest so virgo you've got doubt and it's asking you not to doubt yourself it's also asking you um virgo to possibly take time off um oh my word take a nap do not work so hard um i'm just gonna quickly put that over there you've got unfinished symphony Something in your life, it can be work, family, home, that is unfinished something. It's not coming to fruition. It's not coming to an end. You've got the don't stop card. Something that divine or spiritual source has put on your path. You are doing right. It's also telling you, Virgo, you are ready. You are ready to take on more responsibility. You are ready. Um, call in your soul tribe, call in your work colleagues, call in your family if need be. You came in your own reading. This is also possibly a divine connection in love. Um, and, you know, it can be your current connection in love that you've got with um, a water sign person or with what in the chart. Someone is going to present you with either a love opportunity, um, uh, a work opportunity financial opportunity but you're waiting on something and that and i do feel with this god with the three of wands you're waiting in the past regarding something something became stagnant something that was not clear and you are going to receive this clarity with the hangman in reverse this week um burger um I do believe that you must not have self-doubt in you. Don't doubt your abilities. Don't doubt yourself. And I think it's time for a nap, as the God says. Take some balance. Do something different. Possibly because you are definitely ready for something or someone or some sort of situation, Virgo. So, yeah, I hope it could help um, regarding the most important messages. Look after yourself. Keep well. Until next week. Hi, Libra. I trust you are well and that you will have an amazing week ahead. This is going to be your weekly messages from the 13th until the 20th. What I've been picking up through the other um, zodiac signs is indecision. A lot of decisions need to be made. Um... Ending of old cycles, starting something new. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate. You've got the honesty and blame. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Um, is if this is regarding current life connection or a work situation? I do feel that possibly someone trying to. Either do you in or someone has been recently um, dishonest with you, Libra. And someone was trying to put the blame on you. You've got the building blocks. Here and now. Be in the present moment. See things for who they are. Truth to be told. So the truth will definitely come out regarding a certain matter that you are thinking and contemplating of. If it was a possible person that has not been upfront with you and honest, um, the truth will come out. Share your voice. Come out of the cave. 
persecution expression express yourself libra it's asking you to express yourself express be assertive regarding a certain situation in your life it can be love family home be have that expression say a thing as it is the situation will improve if this is regarding a life connection a work situation or a family connection let's quickly see what is your love my life is not together so your current love interest and this is not going to resonate for everyone um they would like to tell you that their life is not yet together and i do feel that that was possibly the person that was not upfront and honest with you and blaming you possibly um, regarding a certain matter um, and I do see that the situation will definitely improve but just be in the present moment because the truth will be told if I can say it like that you've got the king of pentacles you've got the queen of cups this might be as well a divine counterpart you've got the fool you've got the king of swords and you've got the three of pentacles now libra i do believe if this is regarding a love connection someone was not upfront and honest with you and they are blaming you but it's asking you to possibly go back to the building blocks of relationship building um communication going back to the blueprint of relationship you know blocks possibly it can be a creative block as well that you currently experience a creative block but it's asking you to possibly be in the here and now practice meditation practice possibly mindfulness go inwards but be in the present moment moment because the truth will be told coming come out of your cave be assertive express express and say how you feel um if this is a third party situation it might be a air sign um earth sign and a water sign and there's definitely a new cycle starting ending of old starting something new i do feel that for some libra people out there you are possibly deciding to leave an earth sign going towards either a water sign or a air sign same as you um but you or them are currently ready um to have this communion um this teamwork if it's in a work situation and also i mean regarding a love connection if this was a three-party situation this card can be presented as well with a three-party situation but the truth will be told the truth will come to you unexpectedly i feel and it will and the thing is libra i do i do feel that you've already know this you've got intuition you've got the gut feeling and you already know this so i mean yeah and if you it's your decision i mean it's your own free will if you want to continue with this person if this is what possibly happened in a love connection or if it was someone at work they was trying to take credit for your work um but the truth will get told so yeah libra look after yourself keep well bye